Cruising has become a popular way for people to take a vacation and see parts of the world that they may not have otherwise seen. But the modern cruise industry didn't just magically appear, it has a fascinating history of evolution that has shaped it into what it is today. In this video, we're going to take you on a journey through the history of cruising, from its humble beginnings to the massive industry it has become. Let's start first with the origins of cruising. The concept of cruising dates back to the 19th century, when wealthy individuals would travel on steamboats along the Nile or Mississippi River. These trips were not intended as a vacation, however, but rather as a means of transportation. However, over time, leisure cruises became more popular, and the first leisure cruise, the Prinzen Victoria Louise, was launched in 1900. At the time, the Victoria Louise was the epitome of luxury, with a gymnasium, a library, and a smoking room. It was a way for wealthy people to escape their daily lives and experience new destinations. However, this type of vacation was not accessible to the masses, and cruising remained an exclusive form of travel for many years. After World War II, the world saw significant changes and the cruise industry was not left behind. The emergence of mass tourism and the decline of ocean liners meant that cruising was no longer just for the wealthy. The first ship specifically designed for cruising, the Italiana and the Cristofo Colombio, were launched in 1953 and 1954, respectively. These ships were larger than their predecessors, with more amenities and entertainment options. This made cruising more accessible to the middle class, who were looking for an affordable vacation option. However, cruising was still not a mainstream vacation of choice. The modern cruise industry began in the 1970s with the launch of the first purpose-built cruise ship, the Royal Vikings Royal Viking Star. This ship was designed specifically for cruising, with larger staterooms, more amenities, and a wider range of onboard activities. This ship set the standard for modern cruising and paved the way for the growth of the industry. In the 1980s, the cruise industry began to experience exponential growth, with new ships being built and new destinations being added. Carnival Cruise Line, founded in 1972, became the industry leader with its fleet of fun ships, appealing to a broader audience. Carnival ships were designed to be more affordable and cater to a younger, more adventurous demographic. During this time, the industry also saw the emergence of new cruise lines, such as Royal Caribbean International and Norwegian Cruise Line. These cruise lines introduced larger and more innovative ships, with features like rock climbing walls, ice skating rinks, and onboard water parks. The officers and staff of Royal Caribbean Cruise Line invite you to join them for seven days of absolute perfection. Today, the cruise industry is a massive global industry with an estimated 300 million passengers taking a cruise each year. The industry continues to innovate with new ships being built with even more amenities and attractions. The largest cruise ship in the world, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, launched in 2022, has a gross tonnage of over 236,000 tons and can accommodate 6,988 passengers. The industry has been expanding to include new destinations such as Asia and the Middle East, with more exotic itineraries being offered all the time. Cruise lines are also offering more themed cruises such as music festivals, wellness retreats, and culinary cruises. However, the industry has not been without its challenges. In recent years, the industry has faced negative publicity due to incidents such as the Costa Concordia disaster of 2012, which resulted in the deaths of 32 passengers and crew members. The industry has responded to this by implementing stricter safety measures and regulations, including the mandatory use of electronic navigation systems and regular crew training. The COVID-19 pandemic also had a significant impact on the cruise industry, with many ships being stranded at sea and the industry all but coming to a standstill. Despite these challenges, the cruise industry remains a popular vacation choice for many people. It offers a unique way to see the world with the convenience of unpacking only once and visiting multiple destinations. The industry has also become more inclusive, with cruise lines offering a range of vacation options for families, couples, and solo travelers. The modern cruise industry has come a long way since its humble beginnings in the 19th century. It has evolved from a luxury form of travel for the wealthy to a mainstream vacation choice for millions of people around the world. 
The industry has faced many challenges over the years, but it has continued to innovate and evolve, offering new ships, destinations, and vacation options. As we look to the future, the cruise industry is poised to become even more popular with new ships, new itineraries, new adventures, new activities, and new destinations. I'm very excited to see what the future holds for the cruise industry. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to our Patreon production team for making all of our videos possible. Until next time, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon. Thank you.